Hey, this is Madam with Bass coming back to you with another video. <laughs> so listen up. I want to talk about the gorilla and the boy. I'm sure you all have seen that video of the little four-year-old boy. Never mind, I'll get back to that in a minute. I just want to tell you that gorillas are my favorite animals. Gorillas and monkeys, I could go to the zoo and just watch them all day long. They are so interesting to me. And, um, you know, gorillas and monkeys are the only animals besides us that actually make tools. Um... For instance, they like to eat ants, so they'll find an ant hole, and they will break a twig off a tree, and pull all the leaves off the twig, and stick the twig in the ant hole, and get some ants on it, and eat the ants that way. So besides humans, they are the only animals that make tools. And I remember, was it Jane Goodall? I think she was um, studying a society of gorillas and what happened was somebody in the society was going around killing all the newborn baby gorillas and they were trying to figure out who was doing that shit and it just kept happening all the baby gorillas were being found dead and what happened was one of the gorillas, females, a while back, had a baby, and the baby died. So she started killing all the other baby gorillas in the society. She was a serial killer gorilla. And um, when they found out who it was, them gorillas got together. They sat around and whooped her ass to death. Yes, they did. Hello. Hello. So, I tell you, they are a trip and a half. They're more like humans than you can ever imagine. And even when you look in their eyes, it's almost something human. Especially about, um, with the silverback gorillas, my favorite. There's something very human about them. And, um, so... I watched that video of that little four-year-old white boy who went to the zoo with his family and asked his mother if he can get in the cage or whatever you call the exhibit with the gorillas. And the mother said no. And somehow he found an opening through a steel gate or something. And if you could see the video, if you just YouTube uh, Gorilla and the Boy, the video will come up just in case you haven't seen it yet. And so... Like, from the area where the visitors can view the gorillas, there's a wide gap, pretty much a moat. And it's a deep drop to get down to the water and then over to the other side where the gorillas habitat. And um, so he gets through this opening some kind of way and drops, and it's a deep drop, down into, drops down into this moat, Right? The gorilla sees him and jumps in the moat. Hello. Hello. And at the point of the video, you see this big old silverback gorilla. You don't really see the boy, but people are screaming. And then you hear the mama say, Mommy's right here. Mama love you. Hello. Which... I don't know. I would think that that woman should have been a bit hysterical, but um, didn't sound like it to me. Mommy's right here. Mommy loves you. And I'm like, what? I don't know. And then, you know, people yelling and screaming because everybody's excited, which in turn is ex exciting this gorilla. And he grabs that little fucker by his foot and drags him to the other side of the moat. And I mean, it kind of looked kind of fun to me because I was like, ooh, wee! Because he dragged the little boy through the water. But he was quick. That, you know, these gorillas are quick. Dragged his little ass by his foot. 
and then got him in a little area and it looked like he was like all right little little sucker stand up straight and pull your pants up because he you know kind of picked the boy up by his by the seat of his pants hello it's like now stand up straight now the little boy is terrified first of all he's terrified from that big ass drop hello and now he's terrified because he's with this big ass silverback gorilla who just dragged his little ass through the water he don't know what to do he probably shit himself tell you the truth i know i would have and then you know people are still yelling and screaming and he said all right little sucker we're going for another ride grabbed him by his foot and said let's go and dragged his ass through the water on the other side and he's kind of out of view at that point but eventually they had to shoot the gorilla and kill him and people are up in arms about them killing this gorilla and I can understand but from my point of view they really had no choice it didn't seem like the gorilla was intentionally hurting that little boy it did look like he was trying to protect him but you know the gorilla is a gorilla he's an animal do you think he has the wherewithal to know that humans can't breathe in water while you dragging them through the water no he doesn't know that shit unless you teach it to him <sighs> apparently nobody's ever taught him that hello and um if they would have tranquilized him it takes you know a few minutes for that to work and you don't know he could have killed that kid you know while he's trying to protect him not knowing his strength you know not knowing they really had no other choice but to put that beautiful creature down it's an unfortunate situation I think the parents should be fined fined for the cost of that gorilla hello and put a leash on that kid the next time but you have to understand that was just very white of that little boy. He wasn't doing nothing but being white. You know that white people arrogance. That shit is in their genes. You know. So he was only being what he knows to be. Arrogant. King of the world. You can get into an exhibit with a silverback gorilla. Matter of fact. You can fall 25 feet down into the moat. And be with that gorilla. Because you are Tarzan. King of the fucking jungle. Aren't you? So. You know. I mean. How many times have we seen white people being white? You know. They go through a safari. They see lions. They get out the car with a camera. to get a closer shot. They get mauled to death. You know. You're just being white. I ain't mad at them for being white. You know, that's white people shit. But anyway, whew, that's all I have to say about this video. And um, just making my way down this mountain. I did upwards. I did it again in an hour and 16 minutes. Still, I'm going to try and beat that tomorrow. But it's all good. Hey, thanks for listening. And I'll catch you later. Bye.